Guilty Gear Strive, the premier anime fighting game. What makes it different, you may ask? Well, anime fighting games, compared to most traditional fighters, such as Street Fighter or Tekken, has so many different mechanics to even think of, with like four different bars that I have to manage on the screen itself. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe if you like this type of content, and let's jump right into a ranked match. You know the drill, guys. First time playing the game, you just hop into ranked, and oh my god, why are they so big? Dude, that's when you know you're playing an anime fighter, not gonna lie. Oh, that was, oh, that was pretty good. I'm just gonna use that door. Okay. Dude, <laughs> I keep getting these, like, counter hits. Oh, yeah, let's go. I honestly have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> I guess, like, I could try the Street Fighter inputs, maybe? Like, the traditional? Oh, that move's cool. This is my, like, reversal. And, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I literally was just spamming in game one. Dang, she... She spams her super, man. Holy crap. Dang, we got destroyed, dude. I mean, that's meant to happen, like, it's whatever, you know. So after getting destroyed on game one, I needed to start learning about the game. And I didn't know where to start, so I just started by looking at the move list. Ah, uh, just from playing Tekken and then going to this is kind of nice, you know? You got your three command normals and your eight special attacks and your two supers. <laughs> Pretty nice to not have, like, a thousand moves. Also, something worth mentioning is that the tutorial in Guilty Gear Strive is so long. I think it took me, like, an hour or two to do, like, the whole thing. And it was such an overload of information that I will never remember or do all this all at once. So the stuff I thought was worth remembering, I just put little notes on my second monitor just to like visit it once i feel like i'm comfortable moving on to like adding stuff to my gameplay and one of those things i wanted to focus on that i learned is that there is something called a burst which is a thing that guilty gear and anime fighters have that's like a free get off of me like combo option and it makes sense that anime fighters have this because everyone can combo to ridiculous amounts oh my god how long is this combo and then, I use my burst for the first time. Burst. Oh, I hit that like so perfectly, dude. And so, when I looked at the command list, I saw all these special moves that Soul had. So, I wanted to use one of these, which was the 236 punch. But I still needed to learn when and when to not use this technique. And another special move I was trying to get used to was my 2 and 4 slash, which actually ducks higher moves such as projectiles. Oh! No! Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. 214 slash? What the heck does that mean? It's literally just a quarter circle back input. It's number pad notation. You just have 214S, so you move the stick like that. Anyway, since I was just playing Tekken, I had muscle memory from a different game. I keep trying to win God Fist. That's not even the game I'm playing right now. It was really hard for me to get used to the amount of mobility people have. People could just jump in the air, do air attacks, and they could even air dash. So just getting used to this was really hard. Holy crap. It's very confusing. Like, like, is it when is it my turn to like go in? Like, I don't know what's a mix up and what's not. And the replays don't say like what's minus or plus unblocked. So I kind of got to like figure it out. And then we finally played against a player with good internet. Oh, heck yeah, and it's good internet. Let's go. And already off the bat, I could tell Kai felt like a really honest character. Oh, I think I need to hit him when, when he does that, like, air attack. There's a lot of, like, startup. But even when I was telling myself that when Kai would do that jumping move for me to just attack him during that move, he was just using so many moves that I did not know, obviously, because this is the first Kai I'm playing against. But it was just a lot of overwhelming pressure. Dang it. Oh, that's just how it's gonna be, man. It's just gonna be in the beginning. And my current game plan of just mashing wasn't gonna work against this Kai. So I just stayed low blocking just to download what does Kai's do when I just stay low blocking the whole time and trying to get used to like the animations. Just, just take the L but to learn from it. And in between games, I looked at my monitor and I remember to use my dust attack, which is a overhead striking move. So it's good for when they're low blocking and you just like throw this orange stuff at him or whatever okay okay i'm cooking i'm cooking and then this happened oh my god i'm actually so close to getting my first win if i win this dude i just need one more round 
Come on, dude. He's just like a tap. Yes, let's go. Got my first game on game like, I believe, 10. And with that win, I got placed at floor 5 at rating 406 from the rating info website. And living off that high of winning a game, I went into ranked once again and we played against the big boy Potemkin for the first time. Oh, frick. Okay, everything has power armor or whatever. Oh, I got anti-aired. And, I mean, I could tell this big buff guy was a grappler just from his, like, body build. But, like, man, I just hate in fighting games how grapplers can do so much damage. What the frick? Okay, dude. And then he did this move that I had no idea what to do about it. What the heck is that move? And then I witnessed one of the most iconic moves that Potemkin can use, the Buster. Holy frick! That is a lot. Am I dead? Oh my god. This guy's crazy. But somehow, the game was getting like pretty close. Oh god, come back. Dude, I just gotta punch him! Oh, come on. Oh, I'm dead. FD? Frick. Oh my crap. Man, I suck so bad. So after being comfortable with knowing what moves is what, how to use his normals, and trying to use his special moves, I thought it was time to finally do research out of the game. Bro, he has a three frame like anti-air move? What the crap? That is, that is absolutely crazy. What in the world? And remember when I was having trouble against the Kai, his jump move? Oh my god, I was getting hit by this move all the time. I could just use my three frame. Oh, that is so good, dude. That is so good. Now back to the matches. I tried implementing my three frame move as a panic option when they're really close to me and I just want to get back control. Oh my god, that works so well. And then this different Potemkin busted out the wall of electricity move, the super whatever, and I tried even air dashing over it. Crap, not this. Do I do about that? What the heck? And then I got low-key disrespected on. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm at like 1 HP. And Potemkin has a throw invulnerable throw, so he can't be thrown when he starts up his throw, which I did not know at the time. What? How did I not grab him? And so I did some more research because I was hitting 2 and 4 slash a lot. So a combo I could do after that is 5 kick into 6 slash into 2 and 4 kick. And then we played against Bridget for the first time. Is that a yo-yo? Kilua? It was a little rough because this was kind of the first character I played against that had a pretty far range. Oh god. Oh sick? I dodged it. Man, I always hate that, like, I have that combo down in training, but, like, to put it or in actual game, it's hard. And pretty much, I was excited that I practiced my 2 and 4 slash combo a lot, and I just wanted to hit it in actual game. Come on, give me a chance to do my combo I just learned, man. Bro, this range is stupid, bro. But, man, the match was close. Come on, just one round, one round, dude. <laughs> okay, I, I'm mashing. Oh, come on. No, <laughs> so close, dude. Characters in this game have a lot of like gimmicks or mechanics that you kind of don't really figure out when you just play against them. Oh my god, I hate that purple yo-yo, dude. It's like if I'm in the middle of it, I just get hit by it all the time. Because it's like, it hits behind me, in front of me, I don't even know. Finally, I hit the thing that I've been practicing in training mode. Yes! Another combo. Oh! What the heck? What? It messed the, the wall stopping. Missed my timing. And then a super close call happened. Oh! 
Oh, let's go. I got a win. Finally got my second win. So I did a little bit more research and I found a new mechanic that is my Volcanic Viper, the 623 Heavy, does a ton more damage if I do it like inside them. Like if I'm really close and do it. For example, a normal hit, I get 101 damage. But the sweet spot hit, I do 150 damage. So I'm going to try use this in a match. And then we played against a Mei for the first time. I do know the memes where she spams like... The dolphin is like the E Honda Dash of Street Fighter. Like, there's like no punish frames or something. Oh, did I just get the clean hit of the Volcanic Viper? And then I figured out something mid match. No way. Does that hit? Holy frick. We died it. Let's go. Okay, I'm using my slashes more. My close slash, far slash is like really good. What? There's a second hit of the Shamu. Picking up a new game is so hard to like download and like keep everything that you're trying to learn. So I just remembered of my 236 punch. Oh, I forgot about this move. I'm supposed to do this move more. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> right when I remember it in the heat of the moment to win the W and off that win We got a new PB of 454 elo and then something weird happened that I didn't quite understand yet I tried grabbing her right when she woke up and I it didn't work What my grab oh what happened? Did we throw break or something? Also something that some of you might not know, you could actually block in the air in this game, which I also need to keep in mind when I approach. Why do I always screw up falling up my 5k? Dang it, dude. I gotta play more like, I'm just like rushing in. Ugh, and then I like, my brain like flubbers, flubs the combo. Like I get scared and then, or like nervous and then I don't hit the combos that I should be hitting. When I could actually just hit them in training mode. And then I played against Amelia, where I've never been destroyed harder in my life against a fighting game character. Oh my god, what do I do against that projectile? What? Okay, what the crap? Dude, I'm still getting comboed! No shot, this has to be a smurf, dude. I'm getting pressured like crazy, what do I do? I'm trying to use my 3 frame and I can't even do anything. Oh my god. Dude, that's just not fair. Like, she could throw a projectile on the ground and then jump in the air. Oh my god. Get the frick off of me! Oh my god. I'm so bad, dude. And then I found one of the counters to a weird projectile setup. Oh, I could hit her out of it and it takes away the projectile? Okay, when she does it earlier enough, I could <laughs> I could anti air it, but when I'm like when she's on top of me, it's super hard. Dude, that's a cross up. That's a crazy cross up. And then little did I know that I have one air dash. Milia has two air dashes. Two dashes? Dude, I'm getting crossed up from the side of me. I'm getting crossed up and getting hit by low attacks. Or what do I do from... She, like, throws a projectile, jumps in the air. Sometimes I could get my 5k off. But I, I need to figure out, like, what I could do. Another thing I wanted to get used to was trying to use RC, the Roman cancel more, which cancels your move. And then you could just go from there, continue the combo, or do, like, whatever you want. And then we played against a testament for the first time, and I thought Milia's projectiles was irritating. Well, <laughs> check this character out. Oh my god, why is that so loud? <laughs> What? It also didn't help that we had 241 ping against this player. Brother, how do I get in? She has like three projectile moves, like everything. 
Like, how do I jump in? I just, <laughs> I just jump at her. I just, I just get hit. Oh my god. What was really hard figuring out during the match was that she has a high and a low projectile, and when she does the low projectile, I have to air dash towards her. What the heck, dude? But I didn't know that at the time because I was just getting so flabbergasted. Bro, what is this range? It's crazy. And then that move right there, the skull floating thing? Like, what do I do? What do I do? What the frick? So to beat her projectiles, I just try to get as close as I can to her and also try to experiment with the RC that I'm remembering to use. Let's go. I got one round at least. Holy crap. Like, yeah, I gotta get close to her, but like, her range is so strong, like, it's so hard to get in. And it's been a while since we played against Biking because she was like the first game. But I realized something about my 236K, my bandit revolver, that I could actually only do one of the hits instead of doing both of the hits in the move. And then I can just do the first one and then strike and then throw, like strike and then grab, just in case that they block. And I was trying to do so much stuff that I'm trying to get used to, things I wouldn't do, and the game got pretty hype. Oh god. Yo, oh, it's so close. Die matching! Oh! Oh! Who won? Was it me? Oh my god. I was low-key mashing my burst in my RC there, okay. dude. I need to recognize that she can throw this like chain mace thing that pulls you back into the combo, but if I continue blocking that, I could punish it right after, which I don't do. Whew, that was super close game, holy crap. And we reached a new elo of 486. Also, for any of your soul bad guy players out there, do you miss input the bandit revolver that comes out as grab? Like, is that just me? Cause in the heat of the moment, I just miss input a grab and it just like, it's so bad. And also, laggy Bridget. Why is it always the Bridgets that are super laggy, dude? What is this? Bro, what is this lag, dude? I don't know why it's so hard to remember that I have to use my tension, so I'm trying to get more comfortable with it. Okay, I'm just like, I gotta use burst and tension more, dude. In game 19, when I played against Maze earlier, I was really getting hit by her big anchor moves, but realizing they have such huge startup, I could just bait her from using the anchor and then just rush in. Ooh. And on my notes, I told myself I would use my 6 heavy a lot because it's really far and it's a comes out pretty fast move at startup 9 frames. So I only try to use it to whiff punish because if you hit it on block or you miss it, you're in lag for a long time. Man, that move is good, man. I gotta do that more. Maze love to spam their dolphin projectile, so to stuff her out, I just spam my own projectile. That was a close match, I gotta say. That that last one was close. And with that win, we got a new PB of 591. So game 36, we play against our first Geo, and this happened. What? That goes through this uh, projectile? So that arrow kick move that she does, not only does it go through projectiles, and it doesn't really have a lot of recovery frames, and it's plus on block. So if you get hit by it, the pressure continues. What the hell, dude? That move is, so, especially with lag, I feel like that arrow move is broken. So I tried understanding when to use my 623 slash, otherwise known as the volcanic viper move. The slash version is faster and has invincibility frames, so it's good to use to counter hit people, while the heavy slash version is slower, but it has those clean hit properties we talked about in game 18. And I tried using against Kai's wake up options. I did the slash hit first, and then the heavy slash version second. The double volcanic viper, bro. So the next thing I wanted to work on was using blue Roman cancel. The red one you use while you're attacking, but the blue one you use while the enemy is attacking and it slows them down. 
So his pesky jumping move from game seven that I was having a trouble with, now I could just blue Roman cancel it. Some other research I saw on my second monitor was I'm actually supposed to be using my close slash for Okazeme, but it's just so hard to time because it's such a fast move, so I miss it here. In fact, I actually miss it twice. So I didn't know the timing, so I went into training mode and just grinded out what timing I should do. Notice on the left side, I did it way too early. And on the training side, on the right side, I did it just right. And close slash is good too in case they do block it because I'm plus anyway. That's why I should be using it. And then I played against Chip for the first time, but this guy was super laggy. So I can't even, <laughs> what's there to talk about? So remember the combo that I used on game 17? It actually doesn't work if my two one four slash counter hits they go too high so to do the counter hit combo i have to do close slash into heavy volcanic viper and with that technique in mind this happened yes i hit it Woohoo! the first time i hit in game let's go and so we're back to playing a bridget again and when she throws out her purple yo-yo, I really had no idea what to do, and she was not using it a lot, so it was hard for me to experiment what I could do. Holy crap. I felt like I either A, had to jump over it and dash, but then I risk getting anti-aired, or I just run up and have to block whenever she dashes in. Dude, what? What do I do with that range? And the right one I wanted to keep rematching and testing out stuff, this happened. Failed to rematch, okay, whatever, dude. And right when I thought of getting my counter hit Okizeme, like, good, like, I practiced a lot of training mode, if I actually clutched it out and were to do the timing right, I would have actually just won this match. But sometimes stuff like this just happens, you know? Dang it! Oh my god. And sometimes when you just play ranked for a while, you forget about just being patient. You go monkey brain, unga bunga, and I'm like rushing in for no reason. Like, I'm not running and blocking. I literally learned that from when I played against Mei in game 35. Dude, what the frick? What? Her range is so dumb. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Dude, how many of these does she have? All right. At least I won the last match. Oh, yeah. Check out this combo where I did 173 in practice mode. I can only dream to hit this in an actual match. Man, there's so much moves that I forget that I have, honestly, like in my like arsenal. And is she from prison? Why why she got like a ball? Oh my god! What? She summoned the minion? She just kicked the minion? But for real, Jacko has some crazy reversal moves, dude. What? Damn, I try to grab. Oh big damage. I gotta use tension more because it goes away the next round. Oh, whoa, 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 what am I doing? Oh my god, wait, that RC makes you go into like slow mo lag for like a long time. Oh, come on, dude. Does this reversal too? Oh, wow. Also, look how far her grab super is. <laughs> what the crap? Like, like, is that a grab? But dude, what is that? Okay, I don't know why it found me. It took me so long to actually implement burst rush. But this move is like unreactable and it just allows you to just rush in and combo. And it only uses half your burst meter. So now, so many new mechanics. I have to remember about using my tension and my burst meter like every round. So I'm trying to be more aware of that. That was close. Now I'm getting more used to knowing when to dash in and when to just run up against Testament. So I'm trying to learn it and it's, it seems like it's working well. Gold Lewis Dickinson. 
Oh, I got hard called out there. What the heck? So Potemkin and Goldless have these like cross up supers that like you have to block from both ways. Bro, what the? How are you supposed to block from both ways? And then I hit a full dust. What do you do after it disconnects? I don't think I've ever hit a full dust hit before. And then I kind of felt bad. Like, I, I don't know if this guy has no good, like, startup frame data, but I was just laying it on him, dude. But now looking online, apparently Gold Lewis is Soul's worst matchup? Interesting. Oh my god, the pressure. Oh, what the... The low, the 2 one forward slash dodging the projectile. I don't know, maybe the gold Lewis is bad, because every time he ends his combo, I get pushed really far, so I guess gold Lewis is very safe. And then this guy was really laggy, sadly my first Axel shouldn't have been more of like a fair fight or whatever, but... <laughs> Three times in a row, dude. Oh man, lag is crazy. Oh my god. And then we played against Faust, the craziest looking character, dude. What the frick? Bro, this is the Yoshimitsu. He's the Yoshimitsu, isn't he? The troll guy. Oh, what the frick was that? And then after I won this game from Faust, this happened, finally. Oh, I got floor six. Let's go. Anyway, back to the match. While playing against a new character, you always have to deal with like their random like knowledge checks. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is that move? Oh, that move is far as hell. Oh my God. He has such f actually far reaching moves. <laughs> I can hit his bombs. Wait, he gets hit by his own bomb? That's funny. Ooh. I don't know a good punish for this. You burst there? Oh my god. I found out that if you pressure Testament on the wall and just never like back up and just keep pressuring, you could just rack up the damage. I feel like I just gotta get one read on her to like get in, and then I feel like it's pretty safe to just spam moves up close. I am about to die from chip damage, so I use Faultless Defense, which uses tension, but I don't get chip damage, like, so I don't die. Holy crap, I literally could have just straight up tied there and lost. Oh! Oh, the skin of my teeth, bro. Oh my god, that was probably the closest set yet, dude. Apparently, you could jump over her high projectile. Very interesting that I didn't know. And next game, this happened. Oh, another soul. I've never played against another soul yet. And then he taught me something. After Bandit Bringer on counter hit, he could actually um, combo it into close slash. Oh my god, use my tension, dude. And then he used his overdrive super move that I forgot about for a long time. Like, I knew I had a super, but I never used it. That hits me? Oh my god. I keep forgetting I have a super. Can I hit this? <laughs> I'm like... Oh yeah, that's right, supers are a thing. Let me just use my reversal super. And then this happened. I have no idea who it was that, yeah. What? What? And then against Elfelt, who I just never won against in a match, I finally do this. Come on, heavy, let's go! Die! And then something just clicked in my brain while playing this this game. Ooh, the empty hop. Oh, the double empty hop. Oh, the mix up. Let's go. 
Oh man, this game's starting to feel really fun because I feel like I actually, in my brain, I have like the tools that I've, the tools that like I have written down on my second monitor, and I, it's actually in my brain now, and I get to actually use it and mix up stuff. Giovanna is a very tricky character because I'm noticing that she could put pressure on you so hard until she does one of her like air special moves. Damn, dude, I was like in pressure that whole time by managing it out. What the heck? And once I would force her to jump, I could just use my Volcanic Viper to anti-air her. Oh, okay. We going? We going? And since Soul is actually good on the wall, wasting my burst to just put her back on the wall when I'm about to be pushed off is actually not that bad of a usage. I have to like get off the wall when she she pushes me on the wall or something. I'm starting to get real comfortable with the Okazemi with my close slash. Okizeme, the Okizeme rotation. I learned that for Elf Out matchup, when she throws her little bomb thing on the ground, I can actually just jump up and interrupt her. And then I got abused by the L felt like Rekka like move where she just keeps spinning around and I need to like hit her to interrupt her like before the cycle starts, but it's a mix up. So it's kind of hard to figure it out. Is that an overhead? Like what move is she doing? <clears throat> I don't know what that move is. And then I totally forget that I can actually close slash after counter it on the bandit bringer. So I need to work on that instantly. God, I hate this stupid character, man. Oh my god. Wise is like the most popular character. And then we played against a Johnny that kept dodging. Um, This guy is cool. Like, this is a really cool looking character. And I'm just trying to figure out like what to do against him. I just remembered I have a block break move. And honestly, I should stop just dashing in using Heavy Slash as my only approach tool. I'm going like melee Falco bird brain on this, but it just works right now. <laughs> I feel like he doesn't know my frame data. <laughs> Johnny has a super far range overdrive. What? What the heck? No, he did it twice, bro. Oh, man. It's far range super, dude. What? He also has some pretty long range normals, but I quickly just use my 214 slash for that. At least you could tell it's coming because he stays still in that stance. Dude, that goes so far. One thing on my research is that you could actually do your reversal to counter a super hit. You literally just input your command during their like super cutscene. And that's amazing. I want to see if I could hit this. So like I mentioned before, Bandit Bringer is only negative three on block, which means it's pretty safe. So I could just spam it here, dude. <laughs> it works, brother. It works. And remember all the stuff we learned against the Kai matchup in game 40? Yeah, you, sometimes you just forget about matchups, like what you're supposed to do. What do I do, dude? So came a perfect opportunity for that thing I wanted to work on, using reversal during their super. I tried to do my reversal there. Frick. <sighs> And then finally we played against Ram Lethal for the first time. That hits me. Always playing against new players it's, or new characters, it's like, man, like, so foreign to me. It's like trying to figure out all at once, like, man, what do I do against this character? And like, all the moves are new. Oh, that move is huge. What? 
Oh, whoa, whoa, she's trying to do like some cross up stuff. I gotta mentally keep in mind that when they're like, they have 30% um, HP left, I could just use my super if I have the tension for it. Do I hit this? Yes. Keep forgetting I have that move, dude. And with new characters come new moves that happen. What the? Oh, God. Is 2 and 4S just really good against Bridget? Or am I just in, like, the noob floors? Ah! Whoa. Alright, that move is really good against Bridget, because I guess Bridget has a lot of highs. Like, their highs and the range is far. Okay, we're back at this again. When he uses the electric wall... I actually have no, still don't know what to do. Dude, this is the most stupidest move, dude. How is this the whole screen? What? I'm gonna die. Damn, dude. I had it too. Now, but this matchup was Loki making me mad. No shot. Oh, it's like half my health. I'm dead. Dude, what? I'm like mid combo. How's how's he grab me? Oh my god! Dude, he grab. What is this move, dude? So good. Also, multi hits break his armor. Oh, that's a multi hit. Oh, that's good to know, actually. Oh, you knew. I think because Potemkin is bigger, he takes my heavy slash in the air way earlier, which means I have less frames to be active. Dude, he could grab me through that. It's actually crazy. He could do that. Only now at the elo that I'm at, the Bridget start using the reversal, so I got to keep in mind that I can't just soul rush him down on Ogizeme. Oh, she has a reversal too? Honestly, I'm just trying to dash and then dash back a lot, trying to like mix them up. No! Whoa! I'm alive! Oh my... Oh, dang! That was close. And against Bridget, I'm playing more, like, defensive, I guess. I'll dash forward, dash back, try to beta anti-air. And I'll try to, like, hit confirm my 2k so I could see, like... If I could actually get through or not. But no, this matchup is scary though, like for real. Nothing much to say about the soul matchup. I just rush in when whoever gets wall like wins because you could just put on pressure and just keep doing that really. I don't know. <laughs> I th I think this clean hit, I don't know. I just, now I'm getting used to like just counter hit combos from RC. Just doing, trying to be creative. Ooh. I cooked that one up in from the dome. I'm going to be honest, it's kind of hard to find what to highlight in each game now. <laughs> but uh, one thing I tried very niche is I do my 2-3-6 kick the first hit, and it's almost like a second dash. First time this happened, but if you hold away from the wall, you could actually go back to center stage. Well, that is if they don't punish you on wall for the last hit. Watching this in retrospective, I honestly could have probably done a better combo with my RC to actually kill, but with when it comes to RC, the game just becomes so creative and there's a lot of options to do that. Go from there. Okay, here we go. Ooh. With the wall break and stuff, brought it back, let's go. Honestly, I ended up finding a good use to use the gold RC because I would just be stuck in stun this whole time, but I could just use half my tension to get out of this combo. Oh, ah uh, yes, another mechanic I forget to use again. I have two, like, the offensive bursts, like the burst rush thing. I have two of those. I gotta, like, use them. I went, like, 40 games of not doing the wild assault or burst rush, whatever it's called, like, again. I gotta... So many mechanics in this game, dude. Dude, that move is so good. Why... Why have I not done that? And sadly, this is the only Zato game literally in the whole challenge. He didn't want to rematch, so... Feels bad, only played against Azato once. Ooh, get mixed, bro. Get mega mixed. And bro, this game is so fast, I still don't know how to break this out of this. Like, I like where do I mash my three frame? 
Bro, what? What the hell do I do with there? I thought I could punch through that. Dude, what do you do there? Okay. I just gotta had to stand for the mix up. Nice. That's some tension usage right there, brother. I don't know, man. It's she's such an ambiguous like animation. Like, <laughs> this is my game 100, guys. Okay, how do I? How did I actually get out of that? Dude, what? <laughs> I don't know how to. <laughs> okay, that was game 100. Jesus, what do you do? Oh, and I wish the training mode gave you a freaking frame data counter like Tekken, dude. And all right, let's wrap this up. So the highest ELO we got was 708 on floor six. We spent 56 games in floor five, and I don't know why the overall says not 100 games. I don't know if people are like disconnecting or something, but cause I counted each game. So my final thoughts of the game, it's really fun. <laughs> but you can be creative with the burst. You are you do you want to use it defensively? Do you want to use it offensively? Offensively, how do you want to play with the Roman cancels? It's great. It allows so much creativity and the animation for a new player looks nice and aesthetic. I really love the art style, but it's kind of hard as a new player to understand what the heck is even happening on screen because the animation is animated on fours. Replays not having frame data is pretty whack now in 2024. I feel like that should have been in every fighting game at this point, and it's a very staple thing needed to get better at a fighting game. But anyway, thank you so much for my Patreons. You help support me. And I get to make these videos better. And also, comment below how I can make these types of videos better too. Maybe it's something that you'd like to see at the end or something in my journey. Anyway, thanks for watching till the end.